YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we're here for a weekly update. And as always, well, we'll... almost a weekly update. We didn't make a video last week. Um, oh yeah, you're right. A yeah. two weekly update. <laughs> we'll try to get more regular with it. I just wasn't in a good spot to make a video last week. So start off with your numbers. Sure. So this is related to my bypass journey. Um, when I came to you all two weeks ago, uh, I was a week out of surgery and my weight at the time was 260.8 um, from two weeks ago to last week I went down 6.6 .6 pounds and I was 254.2 and then from last week to this week when I weighed in I was uh, 251.2 so down another three pounds so 29.6 pounds in total so is that total post-op or total total since, pre -op diet? since pre -op, pre -op diet. total including the pre-op diet so 19.6 is um, after three weeks of surgery. So definitely really excited about the weight loss, but I will be the first one to admit, I weighed in this morning, I was like, really only three pounds? And then I'm like, don't be that guy. <laughs> I will smack so, <laughs> you. Um, so of course, I'm, I'm only you know human, so of course I, mean, I if, had that thought. If you lose two pounds a week, that would be amazing. I, I know all these things. Okay. I know them. And then rationalizing my craziness is a completely other thing. But putting on my clothes, they feel phenomenal. I mean, I'm still wearing the same exact clothes I wore 29.6 pounds ago. So they were way too tight then, and now they're way too loose. So I even told Jen this morning I'm probably going to start going shopping in my closet. So that's a great feeling. Um, so when I came to you all last time, I was still in a shit ton of pain. Um, but so at the end of that first week, I decided I wasn't ready to go back to work yet. So I called into work. I told them, look, I, I need a few more days. They completely understood. So, um, that was basically, I was at a commission the first week, the week of the 23rd of September, and then come the week of, uh, the 30th of September into the first week of October, I was out that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But that's when you turned in the beginning of that week. And that's when turned. I started to do better. Um, and that Thursday and Friday, I actually worked remotely from home. Um, mostly I'm just in meetings all day anyway, lots of conference calls and stuff. So I was able to sit on the couch, be very comfortable. You know, I had my shakes, I had whatever I needed. Um, so it worked out very well, but I was still wiped out by the end of the day. Um, that Saturday, um, so all this, just as an FYI, I'm still sleeping in the recliner. Because I'm a side sleeper and with the pain I can't turn in the bed so the recliner is my best friend so that with my neck pillow people are like man Jen threw you out of the bedroom what's going on it's the only way I can the sleep at night the cats are very confused yeah so it is the only way I can sleep at night um, but it's been great um, so then last week Saturday was the last um, of the, the Percocets I took because I wanted to on that Sunday prove to Jen I was safe to drive um, and then I could drive, and I was able, I had enough mobility to drive. And that Monday, I was planning on going back to work. So he's healed enough to go back to work, but not healed enough to do the cat chores around the house. <laughs> I'm milking I, that I, one. I'm that, I am milking I, I'm that. like, wait a minute. You can drive an hour to work, work a full eight-hour yeah. day, but the litter box. So I'm definitely milking that one. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm so weak. Help me. <laughs> um, so last week, Monday, went to work. Um, by 3 o'clock, I was feeling queasy, not doing so good, went home. Um, but you also learned had some cottage cheese and I, I think it was this is the first time I was exerting enough energy where my body's like hey you're not taking in enough for what you're putting out and so I realized okay I need to balance what I'm eating and what I'm eating I had a really good visit um, with my surgeon and the dietitian there and she's like look my preference is you try to get protein from food as opposed to just shakes or supplements. She meant that in the long term. She didn't no, no, no. I absolutely week two. <coughs> absolutely, that's her preference going forward. But also, I want to try to start working some food in. So my best friend now is egg salad. I love egg salad now. Um, it's been fantastic. Um, cottage cheese. Um, Fair life shakes. Fair life shakes. Nothing against Premier Protein. They're great also. I just happen to enjoy the taste of the Fairlife shakes a little bit more. Um, but even then, trying to wean down to maybe one shake a day and trying to supplement with... I also found this great yogurt. It's called Skyr, S-K-Y-R. It's an Icelandic yogurt. It's got 15 grams of protein um, per container. So I'm like, damn, 15, I am all about that. 
So um, just trying to find things that work because I'm in week Make two. Um, it is, I want to say, 130 calories. Not bad for 15 grams of protein. Yeah. So I'm in week two of phase two. So the first two weeks were just full liquids. Now I'm in the two weeks of purees and strained foods. So I'm in week two of that. And then come Monday, uh, next week, I will be in the soft foods phase. So at that time, probably the biggest breakthrough I'm going to try to make is maybe ground beef. So make ground beef and just make sure it's all smashed up. Um, and that primarily I'm only doing that because for a smaller amount of it, I can get more protein because I'm still struggling. And I talked about this with the dietitian. I'm struggling to get enough food in. Um, I know, oh, I got high end problems, but that's not good because it's causing me to feel fatigued and weak. And I'm not a fan of those shakes. So I need to find higher protein foods and just, according to the dietitian, you need to eat more. And I'm like, that's so counterintuitive to why I got this surgery. But I understand it. Small meals, more times throughout the day. So I'm working on it, trying to find that balance as well as getting in my waters. It's just, I feel like I'm eating and drinking all the time and it's uncomfortable. I'm not enjoying it. I don't like it. I'm like, I'm full. I don't want to eat or drink anything. So I'm struggling with it, but I'm working at it. And um, I'm struggling <laughs> having him who's like, I don't want to eat anything. And I'm like, I don't say it like that. Come on now. No, I know, but he's not hungry. And I, you know. So yeah. So like I was upset with Jen because she's like, oh, come out with, you know, our friend. We want to go out to dinner. I'm like, I don't want to go to a restaurant and be hungry and I can't eat any food. And then I realized I'm probably not going to be hungry anyway. So we ended up going out and I sat there and it's so weird being around food and smelling it, but your stomach doesn't growl and you're not like, oh, I need to eat something. I was perfectly fine the whole time. And I ended up going home and I had my 90 calories of cottage cheese and it was fantastic. <laughs> so it's it's definitely a big adjustment period, but you're doing also, okay so far. You're also not, you have not fully come out to everybody. That's about true. The bypass. So yep. he doesn't want to go out with our friends because he doesn't want to tell anybody what he did. And, you know, it's really hard for me to explain his absence sometimes or mm -hmm. why why can't Brad come out? Oh, um, maybe he has a work thing. And so eventually he's going to have to. I will. So. Excuse me. Um, for the most part, still sore on the sides. The scars are looking good, healing up really nicely. I don't look as much like a weird deflated jack-o'-lantern as I did before. Um, but we are taking pictures, so I've got pictures to see how I look on my journey. Um, probably share that a little bit later when Jen crops up my head. <laughs> um, let me think what else. Uh, thank you for the folks who posted comments. Um, appreciate that. And I hope whatever I'm sharing, people find beneficial. Um, and I don't know. I think that's it for me. You sure? Because last time you were, you were, we had the Well, because I had a whole lot I wanted to go over. <laughs> I mean, everything. Um, anything from you on what's going on with you? I don't know how to find it. Um, so. No, you're good. So Brad has the wonderful surgery and I was struggling because like during the, the week of his surgery, it was really stressful. When he was in the hospital, I was like crying because it was taking so much longer and he was in pain and I just felt really helpless and I started eating crap. And so I realized that he has this fantastic tool and you know, I'm jealous. And when I had asked the surgeon for it, he's like, you have to try all the, the non-surgical approaches first before he would even consider giving me the bypass. And so I eventually gave in, and if you're a hater out there, go ahead and hate. Um, I My surgeon recommended me trying a diet drug, um, and so I'm doing Lomera. Lomera is a very low dose of phenamine because back in the day, I did do phenamine, and that's like 37.5 milligrams, and that will screw with your body. I mean, it's just way too much. And Lomera is a low dose, 8 milligram pill that you can take three times a day, so with each meal. And it's amazing because it kills your hunger. And I'm finally like less angry because I got the sleeve to not be hungry. And then, you know, you talk to doctors, you talk to therapists, they're like, it's just in your head. But then you take this magic pill and you're not hungry anymore. And you're like, no, it wasn't just in my head. It was real. So um, I'm doing it to try to learn 
be able to go out to eat with people and not always have to eat um, and to just try to I'm happy with myself right now would I like to lose more weight absolutely but I'm fine with the weight I am now my fear is gaining any weight like I'm happy if I'm under 188 I'm fine but I'm so afraid of going over 188 and so I figured the Lomera is some a tool to try to see um, because the doctor's not going to give me a bypass unless I try every option and I gain weight so um, I don't want to gain weight and so if the Lomera uh, can help I will let it help I can't tell you how I'm doing because I still blind way uh, this was my first week on it I started last Monday and so Brad knows what my weight is and he told me I lost weight using it so that's fantastic I definitely have a, a, so much control over what I'm eating and the hunger I mean it, it is a game changer so I'm really happy to be on it I know it's not for life so it's just a band-aid but I will take it right now um, I see the doctor I think in two more weeks for a checkup to get a refill and so at that time I'll know what my weight is and I'll tell you guys so right now I am something <laughs> when I started I was under 188 and, and I lost still are. and I lost weight this week so uh, in two more weeks I'll give you the stats on that but that's where we're at all right anything else I think that's it for now we hope you all are big losers kick some fat asses and we love <laughs> your faces thanks YouTube see you eventually bye YouTube bye